Guys, for any cheat points, anything like that, FIFA coins, any games, anything you need, really, go and check out MuleFactory.com. You see the link here, guys? It is down below in the description. Use Owen FIFA at checkout. As you can see, they sell loads of different coins, ranging from like 2K if you need a few little coins just to start trading, maybe. Or there are big amounts, like you go down here, like you see, 150K or whatever. They are cheap prices, guys. Obviously, right now, prices are quite high due to FIFA just coming out. But make sure you check them out, guys, in the description and use Owen FIFA for a discount. Hey guys, welcome to today. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today's new video is showing you a sick little method, guys. Basically, going to be sniping players that have ones to watch cards. So, if you snipe their normals, if they're expensive players, like for example Pepe, and you could kind of hope to see obviously like a couple of K profit at least on the gold cards. And you can also try and pick up some of their one to watchers. I mean, Pepe is one where he's 200k, so it's a mad profit if you get it. But obviously, Pepe does come up quite a lot with him being only 83 rated, and obviously, he's quite an expensive card. So, if you just see here, you'll see probably a few pop up in a minute. <coughs> But if you just um, wait a second, hope you should see a couple. Uh, here we go, 69k. They're hard to get because I'm on PS, of course, and that one was a couple of seconds in. But there's loads of players you can do this with. Obviously, you can just search ones to watches as well because they are in packs. Obviously, Pepe is out of packs now, so he's a pretty good one. Like people, if they sell in him, he might start to. He won't drop in price, obviously, because his ones to watch is out. But obviously, it's hard to get them. You see, 58. And me and PS still. I mean, I've not really played the game much so far, to be honest with you. I'm up to 600k now when stuff sells. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but I'm still struggling to get used to sniping. You'll see. I'm just searching in at the wrong time. It's like 58 at the moment. I need to get one on the hour to be able to get it. And you see, I mean, that's what I mean. Look, it's literally second. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? We will get one there. Like it's gonna happen. We will definitely get one. Um, yes, there we go. So they sell for seventy-seven k as well. We'll just list them up for that now, and I'll go show you. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, you'll see. Oh my God. Um, seventy-seven k. This. Oh, that's like a five k profit as well, which is nice. You'll see here now. Had 76, that there's nothing. 77k is just the going rate. We could list them up for like 80, but I mean, this one at the moment just quick sales for the video. And um, we'll try and get another one though. Oh shit, no, it's sold already. I think um, something sold anyway. Um, I'll try and get another one now with sniping here. 70k again, no. Um, so you can do it obviously with Pepe, he's a good one, I'm going to be doing this one, this video should be out um, Saturday evening guys, obviously once the watches came out Friday, I'm going to have a day at it for myself and I'll obviously share this video, I mean I'm sure loads of you are already doing it, but obviously I just like to have a little, <laughs> have a start of the game, have a little bit of my own method for a bit before it obviously gets used a lot more, and um, that's why my mistake last year, I didn't make as many coins because I released stuff and then obviously people started doing it and my trading went to difficulty. Um, we're going to move on now anyway to Ben Yedder. I mean, this is another one. I mean, his normal card, I think, does go for quite a bit. If we look here, you'll see. I mean, his normal card's like 40k, but his other one's like 140. So if you look here, um, yeah, 43k. So you can sign for 43, I imagine. So if we start sniping at like 38, I mean, that's 2k, no, 38.5. That's like 2k tax. And obviously, if once the watch comes up, we're in an absolute field day. But um, it's unlikely it'll happen. But mistakes always happen this year. Like I mean, like last year. Obviously, start the game as well. New people on it. They'll lift cards up a minimum by accident rather than max. Um, they'll put the price down and accidentally, or put the wrong like amount in. Like they'll put 140k, or and they'll put in like 40k, or they'll put in like 130 to get rid of them fast and list him up for 30. It happens a lot, and it did last year as well, especially on PlayStation. They seem to be not as bright, some people. Um, but yeah, we'll just we'll try and see something here. Ben Yellow's maybe not as common as Pepe, but um, it's certainly worth doing. Um, obviously, you've got to be patient when sniping. You can't just expect, oh, I've been sniping for 30 seconds, I haven't seen one. I mean, it might take three minutes, but if you get it or you try your best to get it, and you kind of learn which players are better, like Pepe is a good one, that's why I started with him. Because um, you guys want to kick off the video, or whatever you've seen the best player probably, but I will give you a few more examples. Um, obviously, that's a good one. We'll move on. Um, Jao Felix in the one, but this one is one where you only want to snipe his ones to watch. Like, there's no point sniping his normal car because he's not his ones to watch is like 200k, which is <laughs> a really good um, sniping potential. I mean, okay, he's actually dropped a lot, but um, wait a second, has that is um foot been lying? No, it's not really. I mean, he has dropped, but. Not a great deal. I mean, 193. This will be his going rate, 190. We'll drop it down to 189 again, 190. Um, so we can sell them on for about 186 or sell straight away, I imagine. Um, pretty quickly, anyway. I imagine it's gone now. 
Just trying to add it to the watch list. Okay. I would have sniped at like 160, so we're guaranteed to make um, a decent amount if one was to pop up. I mean, it's one of those where he's only 80 rated, so you'd expect to see him, but EA will then see it. Oh my god, he's like 100 and something K. They'll make him more difficult to pack, of course, because that's what they do. But um, yeah, it's definitely possible to see them, I imagine, for this price. Um, it's just about going through and finding which ones work best for you and whatever. It might be certain times of the day, certain ones get listed up more and stuff. It's just something. It's all down to look, really. I mean, when you see them, I mean, I could sit here for 20 minutes, not see one. You could pop on tomorrow, three minutes, bang, one for 50k. So it's just how it goes. But I'm going to leave the video here, guys. I'm just going to 30 seconds and then you'll see it's like my top three ones to watch players to snipe. Obviously, with Pepe, you can just do his own swatch if you want to, but <coughs> it's one of them where I think it's good. And same with Ben Yedder, where it's worth doing the normals as well because they're pretty common players and quite expensive players. Whereas Felix is only like 19, 20k, which would you see a Jao Felix obviously pop up for that price? You're going to be um, a very, very lucky person. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like and a sub if you wish to. And I will see you all next time with a brand new video.